So God is speaking to Satan right here in the book of Genesis. And he says to him in front of Adam and Eve, and he says, the seed of the woman, right? The seed of the woman, he will bruise your head, but you will bruise his heel. What is he talking about here? And does a woman have seed? Well, no, nowhere in scripture does a woman have seed. And that seed, he says, he, he's speaking about a person, he will bruise bruise your head, Satan, but you'll bruise his heel. That's speaking about the Messiah, you guys, the very first mention of the cross and the Messiah. Because when a person dies, there's this medical term called lividity. When a person dies, like say you died on your side, there would be pooling of blood, which would appear as bruising on your side. So investigators do this. They want to figure out which position you were in. When you died, they would look for that bruising where the blood pooled up. So if you died upright on a cross, where would the bruising be? On your heel. You'd have a bruised heel. Now, let's look at the other side, the contrast of that. The other side of this, Satan is bruised where? On his head. And that speaks of Jesus crushing his head with that bruised heel, right? And that means crushing all of his authority and he will be destroyed. This is good stuff, you guys, because Satan is crushed. His bruising is on his head, which means he's pointing down. He's going to go down to the lake of fire. He's going to get thrown down to that, probably head first. But Jesus, when he died, he was upright, and he, after he died, after three days, he raised up to the right hand of the Father. Some really cool stuff in the book of Genesis. And we get to look at that, you guys, all these awesome scriptures. And we're doing a series right now, Jesus in the Old Testament. And we're looking for him. We're just going to go slowly, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, through the book of Genesis right now. And then the rest of the Old Testament, or if you're in Israel, the Tanakh. We're going to go through all of your scriptures, and we're going to do it in the Tanakh order, the Jewish Bible's Old Testament order, which is the books of Moses, right? The Torah, the books of Moses, the prophets, and then the Psalms and the writings, right? We're going to do it in that order. I'm so excited about this, you guys. Here we go. So here they are at the tree, right? They're at the tree. And then God says now in his word, he says, now the serpent was more cunning, which means like wise and subtle than any of the animal of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, has God really said, you shall not eat of any tree of the garden? So, so the woman says to, to the serpent, she shouldn't have a conversation with him, but she says to the serpent, from the fruit of the trees of the garden we may eat, but from the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God said, you shall not eat from it or touch it. I don't know where it said, or touch it, or you will die. Then the serpent said to the woman, certainly you will not die. Okay, Satan, you're a liar. That's a lie. That's why Jesus said he was a liar and a murderer from the beginning, because he basically murdered Adam and Eve through this deception to get them to eat of that fruit. They, then the death came, right? Everybody has to die after that. But God had a rescue mission, a plan in play. But he was a liar, like Jesus said, a liar to murder from the beginning. And today in our culture, there's a lot of lying going on, right? Even where I work, the people, I mean, lying is not a big issue to people anymore. It's, it's insane. It's insane how this is happening today. Like your truth isn't my truth and therefore it doesn't matter. No, there's one truth in every situation. There is an absolute truth, my friend. And if you don't believe that, you're wrong because you're telling me that there's, there's no absolute truth. Are you absolutely sure about that? <laughs> right? You get it? So, so that's what we're seeing here in Genesis chapter three. Well, here we are. We're, we're in the series, Jesus in the Old Testament. Now imagine it. Here's the scene. We're looking at it. Imagine the tree. There's the tree, right? The knowledge of the knowledge of good and evil that God forbid them to go to. And you see a bruised head there and you see a bruised heel. Now imagine it. Jesus was pinned to a tree. He was nailed to the cross, which is also Peter called the tree. And it was the cursed tree. But he was reversing the curse. 
Paul points that out. Remember the contrast and comparison? Jesus is reversing the curse and his heel was bruised because he's he died upright looking up to heaven he's going to be ascending up but satan is bruised on his head he's pointed down he's going down forever in fact revelation records that revelation 2010 says satan is thrown down into the lake of fire he will be there forever and that's his end is to be in that torturous awful place of burning and suffering forever forever and ever and jesus is raised up from the dead and he's at the right hand of the father in heaven forever and ever and ever and we'll be with him too you guys this is so exciting so that's what we see and then i want to point out this too that in psalm 22 the very last word of psalm 22 is the hebrew word asa and asa means it means accomplished or finished completed the work is finished it also means bruised isn't that amazing you guys because the first part of the psalm speaks of the cross and the last part of it speaks of this great victory and the last word is asa completed finished just like to tell us die it is done it is finished and bruised <laughs> so i'm not making this stuff up do your own research you guys this is so fun to go through the bible and look at all this stuff so the woman did not have seed only in scripture only men have the seed but we know that mary was conceived by or mary not wasn't conceived but jesus was conceived by the holy spirit through the virgin miriam that's the hebrew word for mary which is really cool because moses little sister right his sister was miriam and she took her older sister excuse me and she did what did she do she took care of baby moses who was another type of picture of christ we're going to get to that episode not yet though so let's get back into the scripture here so the serpent said to the woman you shall you will certainly not die he's a liar for god knows that on the day that you eat from it your eyes will be opened and you will become like god there's the lie you guys right you know, that's all garbage when you hear people say, God's in you, he's within you and everybody. God's all, you just have to recognize it. No, that's a lie from Satan from the very beginning. And there's religions out there that say you could be a God someday, another lie. You're not gonna be a God, okay? There's only one God. They have that right in, in the ancient scriptures when the Jewish people say, hear, O Israel, there's one God. The Lord your God is one. Okay, one God. Now, I believe he's triune. He's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And there's a lot of evidence of that. Even in the Old Testament, we're going to get into more of that in, in future episodes. But there's one God, and you will not be like God. God. 